My daughter's words broke my heart today. While teary eyed, she asked, How can you still be in love with someone like that? Referring to my husband slash her dad. Then she started crying, and my son sitting across from her started crying too, shaking his head, saying, Yeah. This is right after my husband came out of the hallway looking and acting very angry with a dirty dog pad and seeing the baby had changed the channel from the football game he was watching. A little background we have been together 24 years and married 15 years. Daughter is 13, son is 10, baby is 18 months. My husband does have a slight temper and anger issues even while driving, which unfortunately the kids have witnessed slash experience. He has also punched a hole through our bedroom door. Replace the door and punch another hole. Again, the kids have seen this. There's road rage. Like, I get road rage, but that's like another level of like, you need to seek definitely get therapy. Yeah. Like, it's for sure. Just that's another level. Yeah. I didn't realize how strongly the kids feel about his behavior. I didn't think it was a big deal because it was never directed at them. If anything, I thought I'm the one usually having to punish them. He's. The fun one. As far as tonight's episode goes, it didn't seem extreme to me. I understood he was stressed from work, our dog peeing and pooping everywhere, our AC being broken for a couple days, and us suffering from heat, etc. When I told him the kids are upset, slash scared of you, can you please apologize to them? He said, Good, mission accomplished. They should be scared of one of us.、Oh, I don't know what to make of that. Yeah, that was, that was a weird statement. Like, you shouldn't be afraid of your parents. That's the wrong mindset. That's like, That's that fucking boomer mindset where it's like, you should fear me.、Mm-hmm. Um, yep. Yeah, that's crazy. That's like very Machiavellian, you know, rather be feared than loved type of shit. Yeah.、Uh, I, don't, I don't like that. Fuck.、Uh, was he being sarcastic slash funny or serious? I don't think so, so given the,、nah, what we know about him. He's an abuser. Everything else, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. yeah. So, no apology. He always sucked at apologies, anyways. He used to always say, I'm sorry you feel that way. But he has gotten a lot better and gives more meaningful ones now, although still very rare. This conversation happened while he was feeding the baby. The baby, and this is when the trigger warning kind of kicks in, Wikimaniac. The baby kicked his food and stuck his foot in the bowl. This caused my husband to hit the baby's leg. And it was really hard. The baby started crying, of course, and actually left fingerprints and the skin raised a little bit. Oh, that is a quick call to the police. Holy shit. Yeah, child, child services、abuse. for sure. Holy fuck, dude. When my son saw that, along with hearing him say good, he started crying. I asked my son if he wanted to write down what he was feeling since he wasn't able to voice it at the moment. He wrote down, quote, he always hits the baby and hits the dog and he never cares about us. He only cares about himself. I feel sad. Jeez.、Uh, when I read that, I felt heartbroken for my son feeling this way, but also confused. I know my husband loves us, spends time with us. Overall, I thought he was a great dad. His anger has never been directed at us. He doesn't always hit the baby. This was the first time, which I still haven't properly addressed with him tonight. I think the other times of hitting my son is referring to are when he lightly taps the baby's hand and says, No, you don't do. When he does something, slash gets into something he isn't supposed to. Like, Shaking the table lamp, trying to make it fall, or putting a shoe in his mouth, or pulling on the curtains. Since I was a little confused, I asked my son what he meant by he doesn't care about us. My son said, Dad makes jokes when we feel sad or are hurt. And I have seen this because whenever my son is upset about something and just wants to let his feelings out or is upset、uh, because he doesn't draw that well, and my husband tells me not to lie to him and say he's doing a great job because we can't tell him he's good at everything. He needs to learn the truth and understand disappointment too. But I don't lie to my kids. I know he doesn't draw that well. So instead, I'll say things like, I love the colors you've chosen. But my husband says he should know that he's not great. On a side note, my husband and daughter are very talented artistically. So that makes my son feel worse. I don't know what to do. My kids are wondering why I'm still with my husband. I feel like my head was buried in the sand. How did I not notice their feelings? And I thought we had an amazing and loving family. And I know my husband won't go to therapy because if I've ever mentioned it in the past, he just rolled his eyes. I'm honestly scared of putting my kids in therapy because of what they'll say. There is no physical abuse, but the way my son views it, it seems like it's very extreme. What the my fuck? My husband's bat. 
I'm I'm there worried is... about putting my kids in therapy because what do they'll say? Then there's something wrong. Yeah. Jesus. Also, <laughs> how do you say uh there's no uh, he doesn't abuse them, but then we're talking about him just leaving Verbally hitting the kids and we're, actually abusing the and child. Actually yeah. hitting yes. the youngest one. Yeah. Holy. I'm 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 jumping around here, but actually the top comment on this story from L lower score hell. It's funny you quoted that, Josh. I'm scared of putting my kids in therapy because of what they'll say. And they put, yikes. Lady. Yeah, I mean, that is Which a is, huge red flag on the mom's side. Uh, exactly. Fuck. Enabling. Yeah. So to finish this story out. Yeah, yeah, go my ahead. Husband's, my husband's bad moods aren't, uh, aren't an everyday thing. My husband spends time with kids, going over homework, working on projects, playing sports with them, playing video games and board games, reading to them when they were younger, giving them, giving them a bath when they were younger. And they put in uh, parentheses, I would do the main part and he would come in after to play with them because they love being in the water and I couldn't stand the heat. He's a great dad that loves them and loves spending time with them. Why are they only seeing the negative in him? How do I fix this? I will talk with my husband about what he says to them and his behavior, obviously, but I don't know what else to do. My kids were seriously asking why I'm still with him and how I can love him. I love him and I am very much still in love with him. He is my best friend. And I feel like I'm letting my kids down and disappointing them by still loving my husband. Yeah. I mean, you, well, the loving the husband, you can love him, but you are letting them down by uh, not addressing his issues. Like uh, he needs to like clearly get anger management of, or some sort of therapy where he can talk about it. And, and so that he's not hitting your child. I don't know why you're not more concerned about that. That's, you know, the biggest red flag, obviously. But then like punching holes in walls and uh, verbally uh, like abusing your kid, uh, saying drawings aren't good enough or uh, should be af- afraid of me or whatever. Like that's a terrible position to put your kids in where they don't feel safe at home. And so then they're going to be, you know, potentially uh, uh, f- like they'll just grow up thinking this is OK. And then they'll be in abusive relationships later and not know how to communicate or talk about it because you just keep shutting them out. And and absolutely telling them 100% to shut up. on that. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, absolutely get your kids therapy. I don't know why you're fearing about what they're going to say. Cause the more they can communicate, the better the situation can be. Cause then you can address the stuff directly. What so, she's scared uh, of man. is saying that they're getting abused and then get taken away. That's what it is. Probably. Right. They but, probably should be, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, yeah. At this point. Yeah. Cause you're not like, really doing your job of protecting them and getting them out of situations like this. Uh, your husband's views on therapy should not be up to him. He needs something. Uh, yeah. he can't just be like, everything is not fine. Uh, and he's, you know, just putting those kids in terrible situations, having them witness, uh, the improper way to deal with emotions and things like that. And, you know, mm-hmm. thankfully they know that it's not right, which is good. Uh, you know, some kids might have internalized that and just been like, okay, so that's how we deal with our emotions. and also been little pieces of shit like your husband. So yeah. 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 It's it, you're in a tough situation. Uh, but if your husband can't take the concerns of that you have for your kids and your kids concerns, then he should not be your husband and he should not be in a, in a place to take care of these children. Cause he obviously can't do that. Especially the baby. I don't know why that especially, yeah, you were so okay with that. That's, that's a huge red flag for me, like on your end, not saying something or immediately, you know, calling child th- uh, services or anyone like that. Like that's, that's crazy to, to hit a child in like 18 months. That's 18 months there. Yeah. That's hard. Like super hard uh, for them. They're, <laughs> and they don't to know me any too, better. Like, they don't know anything. I feel like, I feel like the mom is also a victim at this point because she's probably just stuck in a hard situation. She's been but in that situation for 24 years. She, I don't know if she, she has been, she's probably but, been abused but she's also and being, conditioned into thinking. For that's sure. Her. But she, she's for also sure. being complacent because she's not, uh, I'm not, I'm trying not trying to blame her for the situation, but she is not protecting her kids. And, yeah. and to me, part of me too sees that she's gaslighting her kids. You know, the, mm. the, the kids wrote, the kids wrote like their concerns because they're, for for the kids to not be able to verbalize how they feel and they have to write something, there's got to be something deeper in that house because they, this, the way how it's ran, it's very like militaristic. Authoritarian. You know? it's just, hey, 
authoritarian is a, a perfect word for that too. Like you have to fear me because I'm your parent. That's not how relationships with parents should be. And the the kids are 15, or I'm sorry, uh, 13 and 10, right? And an, and, and an 18 month old. When the son is verbalizing, that's like, hey, I think the kid is being hit more than once. And the dog is also being abused at this point. And for the mom to be just like, that's not true. You know, your, your dad is not abusing you. Like you're setting that kid up for a, a, a bad situation. And, and the one, the daughter sees that, hey, my, my mom and my dad have been together for 15 years, right? Or 24 years. Is this what a good relationship is like? And then the son can look at it as just like, oh, my dad beats, beats uh, my mom or like not beats my mom, but like, you know, verbally, verbally abuses. abuses my family. Yeah. This, this, this should be an okay behavior. You know, it's something that you learn in your environment. And, and he could probably be like, oh, the mentality that he'll probably have growing up is like, oh, I don't want people to love me. I just want them to fear me mm -hmm. type of shit, you know? And it's, it's just a bad situation to be in. Like, I really hope the mother gets some sort of like help in terms of like resources to possibly get away from this guy because I've, I have listened to too many true crime podcasts, too many true, true crime stories. And this is just classic. This is just a step on what's going to happen potentially if um i was gonna say let's not say it's gonna be a murder but no i mean i'm not uh, but i'm saying it's like a lot of the stories that we've listened to or like that i've listened to at least these are the prerequisites to that Fair. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. hopefully they can get away from that situation before it escalates to that that level because right. obviously the punching in a wall um being angry um uh, that's just the first step and it's he, the guy is already showing tendencies that he can hurt a child oh, and he's done it yeah. And so like, I, I, I just wish for, for, for that family to get away from him because I don't want it to be being in use later down the line, essentially. Yeah. At least until he figures out his shit and like comes back as a, you know, a rehabilitated person who can deal with his emotions and be an actual father figure and not a, uh, yeah, like an authoritarian dictator in his house. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, dude, dude won't do therapy. So like, I the have baby changed my guy. channel from football. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, really. The game's still on. Dick. That's what I'm saying. Is like if he's really not open to getting therapy, even though his kids are not, don't feel safe around him. The wife doesn't feel safe around him. Then that's divorce. You know what I mean? That's easy. Yeah, mm -hmm. easily divorce. And then also, yeah, like Josh said, probably CPS. Yeah. Your boy Sean. <laughs>